Right, welcome back to Speaking of Drip Reviews and today we're doing an Aegis review on two companies under the wing of my vape store. Um, now this is Rocket Fog and Sex Bomb E-Liquid. Now they're, they're all Sex Bomb E-Liquid but obviously Rocket Fog is one sub-company of the same company. Um, now Rocket Fog, VGPG, is 60 VG, 40 PG, coming with nicotine strengths of zero, which is a 60ml bottle, with the, which is 50ml of zero E-Liquid with a space for a nick shot as normal. Um, now the three flavours we're doing from them are Dew Pop, Straffy and Utopia, we'll talk a little bit more about them in a minute. And then we're also going to be doing Sex Bomb Vapor, which again is a 60 40 nicotine strengths of zero. Again, 60ml bottle with 50ml of zero nick e liquid with a space for a nick shot. And the three flavours we're doing from them are Apple Cream Pie, Milfy Grape, and Sexy Lemon. Now, big, big love goes out to Toby Murphy, um, he's the actual owner of my vape store. And now basically what we're going to do is we're going to go and show you the logos, we're going to show you the packaging and all that stuff. And we're also going to be talking back through the flavour profiles, giving you a full rundown of what's in them and whether they do what they say on the tin flavour wise. Um, and also we're going to be checking out the cloud. So don't go nowhere and catch us back in a minute. Right, welcome back to Speaking the Dripper Reviews. And like we said on the desktop, we're doing these two sub-companies. I mean, they're both by Sex Bomb, right? But um, they do a Rocket Fog and they do an original Sex Bomb range. Um, and they're also under the wing of... It's my vape store. So for more information, check out www.myvapestore.co.uk. You can also check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'd like to give a big shout out to Toby Murphy as well. Big love, Toby. So right, let's start with the Rocket Fog range, um, and then we'll move on to the Sex Bomb range. So if you want to just show them this bottle here, right? There's this three is... in a range. We're doing all three, and this is the first one we're doing. Love the packaging. It's nice and punchy. And this is Dew Pop, and this is a delicious honeydew melon topped with Bavarian cream and vanilla bean ice cream. So, juicing this oh, up, it smells, it smells really It does nice. smell honeydewy with extra cream. I'm hoping it vapes like that because that smells really nice. As you can see there, right in the front there, Dew Pop, that's the one we're doing. Really nice logos. That is so creamy. It smells really creamy, oh, to be wow. fair. All the informations and stuff. Yeah, I, that way you can I mean, I tend to find that a honeydew melon is creamy anyway in a vape, or it seems to taste like it, it's it's creamy. Yeah. So adding Bavarian cream and vanilla bean ice cream as well. It smells amazing. I mean, I straight from the off, you've got the honeydew melon. It's, as I said, it's, it verges on creamy just that anyway. Which is a coil killer. Mm. Not killer as in but like making it black, but I mean. It, if you're vaping that, you need to re whip re whip up if you're going yeah, to be vaping anything yeah. else. Mm. But if you like it and it's look, which I do, and and you know you're going to vape it all day, yeah. it's one of them that's going to be in your face mm. all day. You know, it's got that really well, punchiness about it anyway. That's before even vaping. You, you wait, you hit that. I mean, it's even creamy to another level because of the the Bavarian cream and the vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, wow! I mean, thick dense cloud, sixty forty. They are VGPGs. Look at that. Um, and what I like about this, the sugar lips, absolutely fantastic. It's over, what, I mean, we normally like between 40 and 60, right? That's If they sit in that par category, then we're happy. But this to me is around the 55, so it's pushing more towards mm. the 60. And this is really sweet, um, tasty, amazing, really. Yeah. And then that honeydew that you're getting straight from the start, is smothered. I mean, honeydew is a creamy one anyway, but it's, you can taste that extra cream from the ice cream as well as the creaminess that's going on from the Bavarian. Yeah. Um, it's just such a wholesome, beautiful, luscious type style vape yeah. with, with honeydew. You know, if you I can mean, imagine whipped cream, you know, clotted cream, mish, mashing it all up in a in like in a blender, and then adding in some honeydew. Mm. This is what you're getting that very creamy, lovely, fresh, ripe honeydew with lashings of cream from start. Got a bit of even now, lingering too. at the end. Yeah, loads of cream, loads of honeydew. It's really nice. I do. I, do, I like a, a vape that's still there. If you like, you know, you're enjoying a vape and it's gone. It's like you haven't vaped oh, it, isn't it? But this it hangs around, which is so nice. Wow, let's hope they proceed because you know if they're as good as that, then right. we're, we're in for a, a yeah, treat. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that was amazing. It was really nice to be fair. Right, love it. Well, let's move on to the next one, which is called Straffy, and this is sweet white strawberry mix with saltwater taffy and a cheesecake graham crust. You can see there, Straffy, mm. Rocket Fog, 
again all your warnings and all your stuff which we've shown you already now these are small batch baked by sex bomb vapor like we said to you mm -hmm. and we're going to be doing the sex bomb original range afterwards but they're all under the wing of sex bomb um, and the wholesalers you know uh, myvapestore.co.uk all right that smells lovely so what we got in this one again? This is a sweet ripe strawberry mix with salt water taffy and cheesecake ground crust. Oh, you won't like this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless. <laughs> oh. Like that, yeah? It's amazing. Um, it's got a beautiful, really fresh ripe strawberry. I have to agree. Um, and then in comes this like, like, like a proper, real cheesecake with a real crusty biscuit um, and I don't know how they've done it but mid no, it starts lovely ends lovely but this middle section yeah, it's that middle was like what wow. is going on there like really really biscuity cheesecakey strawberry saucy goodness going on um, wow that's all I can say it doesn't taste anywhere like the bottle when I smelt the bottle it was no, a little bit it smelt taffy fight just, Weird, just yeah. on its own you know but vaping this I mean, you are getting that taffy right at the start with the ripe strawberry, right? That's what gives it that sugar boost. And again, this is on the 55 for sugar. The salt water taffy is really nice, don't get me wrong. But to me, it's about that middle section when that cheesecake kicks in. It's like, hello. Yeah. Have I mean, something different that with makes you smell of the bottle. I was wondering because you, know? you can't smell no strawberry with no, the smell. Like a, well, it's more like a taffy, isn't it? Like yeah. A, what you smell but from the bottle. With the vape, there's the strawberry. There's the cheesecake, the ground crust kicks in. And, and the mid like, explosion is. Oh, Fantastic. Wow, that's the best bit where it all comes together <laughs> in the middle. It's, it's fantastic. Like, wow. mm. Really like that one. Wow, man. <laughs> oh, first I told it, you I wouldn't think. like it. <laughs> yeah, you don't like the first one either. <laughs> <laughs> they were really nice to be yeah. fair. The first two, you know, no, no, I mean, I know it's like a a, a personal preference, right? But yeah. these two straight away have absolutely jumped out at me and said, wow, fantastic. You know, it's, it, they've got. Uh, that wow factor you know what I mean like if they was on the X Factor you'd buzz them through for the golden yeah, buzzer they'd, straight away they've just got that that oh, full of flavour and not lacking lovely anywhere. sugar lip you know and so far on these first two everything that's in the description I've tasted and I think being in a 60-40 oh. they chuck a good cloud right but in a 60-40 it's allowing that flavour to come through yeah. that bit more um, and it really is nice mm. that's all I've got to say about that one right let's do the last one from right. this Rocket Fog and this one's called Utopia and this is seriously caffeinated coffee with creamy Irish cream and vanilla chocolate milkshake. Oh, and smelling this, this absolutely oh, smells smell, amazing, yeah. like a proper good coffee. Oh, that smells lovely. It's a caffeinated coffee as well, Irish cream and vanilla chocolate milkshake. Oh, that smells lovely, that vibe. When it said seriously caffeinated coffee, I was wondering, would it be too much? And the answer is no. Brilliant. I mean, if I'm running around the ceiling in 10 minutes, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> running around the ceiling. Too much caffeine. <laughs> but no, honestly, <laughs> serious no, yeah. You're getting this lovely coffee. Irish cream. Oh, you got a creminess to it. What is that it. sweetie licking there? It's got to be that vanilla, vanilla chocolate, chocolate milkshake. milkshake. Oh, yeah. mate. I would say this is a 60 on the sugar lip. It's, it's a, a lot. It's a lot sweeter mm. than. I mean, the first two are 55s, which is over what we we like 50 right down the middle of the line. I mean, we do go between 40 and 60 as long as they're in that area, then all good. Mm. So these two 55s in the percentage of sugars, but this one's gone to 60 for me, and it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It starts with a luscious coffee, a really good like percolated style coffee. In comes this like nice creamy layering over it, but then you think it's just going to end there. And then boosting of sugar goes, whoa, yeah, and, and then comes that, comes that lovely, and now I've got that little chocolate lick at the end. Yeah. It weren't till right afterwards, and now talking, I'm getting that And it's that nice, it's filled. a milky chocolate, oh. not a dark chocolate. I think with the dark chocolate and a dark coffee, I think it would have been too much, in my opinion, but. Oh, I love that. With the milky, yeah. Oh. I mean, that's a really nice range. Oh. I mean, it's going to be tough mm. to pick one out of that. Definitely. Let's move on to the, the next end. range yeah. and then we'll go, we'll, we'll pick this one. This is too. it. I mean, but don't forget, for me, any, you want more information on these juices, then it's www.myvapestore.co.uk. Do check them out. Just before we move on, 
I've just noticed as well that this one says small batch mixed on the Dewpop. This one here says small batch baked, which is on the Straffy <laughs> at the top there, so you can see the baked. And then here, this one says small batch roasted, because obviously being the coffee, you can see there, roasted. So that's a nice, nice little touch as well, mm. giving them some sort of different feels, you know what I mean? Yeah. On the packaging. Um, yeah, so let's move on to Sex Bomb, and the first one we're starting with is apple cream pie and strawberry yogurt. Right, this is a hot and steamy apple pie infused with cinnamon cream straight from the oven with a smothering of strawberry yogurt. These yeah. are the same as the uh, Rocket Fog, these also have 60 VG, 40 PG, uh, zero nicotines as well. You can so. smell like a really cinnamony apple when you smell it, it does smell nice. It's got cool lard in it. Yeah? Yeah. You're getting, to me, you're just getting a a nice apple, a subtle lick of like a cinnamon powder in. But then because of, I'm not getting no strawberry yogurt, but because of the, the cool lard in it's a bit, I think that may have stole a little bit away from that strawberry yogurt coming in. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really nice. Um, the cool lard is quite strong as well. Yeah, isn't you it? You know, it's got mm. a, a really, you know, like a coldness to it. I mean, it's not scratchy, it's nice and smooth, but that apple and cinnamon, it's just like the inner fillings of a, a like a McDonald's apple pie. Mm. You know, like that, the sauce that you get with it. That It's a bit weirdy for me, because I always associate an apple pie as warm, mm. but yet I'm getting cold, cold yeah. because of the cool yeah. larder. It's more done like a cold, like mm. a cold drink. It's sauce. a nice apple pie, nice. though. It is. Oh, same as yourself, though. I'm not getting any strawberry no. yogurt. Sugar lip again, around the 50-50, I'd say, perfect on point. But I'm not getting no strawberry yogurt. I'm just getting that lovely sort of, you know, that creamy pie mm. appleness going on with cool larder. Yeah. Which is different. Don't it know. is I've different. I've never tasted apple pie with cool larder before. Especially you know? when the description is a hot and steamy apple pie. The only downfall is we didn't really get much of the strawberry yogurt, mm. which I would have liked to have seen that come through. Maybe even if the cool larder wasn't there and we had just lashings of strawberry yogurt to finish it off, maybe then would have been something mm. different because it would have gone like apple pie cinnamon, then into this strawberry yogurt finish. But to me, it's just apple pie cinnamon and then loads and lashings of cool larder. Yeah. Once that cool larder then calms down after about a minute of vaping, because it is cold. I'm still left with a I'm cinnamon still apple. Got a cold there <laughs> yeah, in the throat. But wait till that goes, then you start getting in comes back again that cinnamon apple. I mean the apple pie is lovely with Most the lovely. cinnamon, I've got to give it that. It is nice. But was not expecting cool lava. No. I was expecting but strawberry yogurt. But yeah, different. Yeah. Right, right, moving on to the next yeah. one. And this one is cold. Yeah. And this one's a combination of grape, mango and black currant on ice and it's called milfy grape. As you can see there. This was the last one that we did before. I just want to show you the little so you know that was what we was doing. So yeah, we're moving on to this one now. What's it smell like? <laughs> it's cold. Yeah. And this has got cool larder in, yeah? Well, it says on ice. Well, on ice, so I expect it's menthol or cool larder. Can't really smell menthol, but then, you know, sometimes, I mean, cool larder you can't really smell, but the, the menthol normally you can, but this just smells like it's a really cold. nice grape and mango and black It's still oak. cold, but not as in your face as yeah. the first one. Rango current. Yeah. <laughs> Great mango and black current. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> and it's uh, uh, in the back of the throat cooling. As, as cold well. as the one before? No, not the first it. The second it feels a little stronger, but right, the first cool. one wasn't like. Maybe because cool. we was expecting it, I don't know. But, but smelling it, I'm just getting like mango, black currant, and, and grape all in one hit. Which is the a nice mango and the black nice currant seem to take. Smell, really. Yeah, the mango and black currant take precedent on the taste. It is almost on par as the cold one from mm. before, but it vapes like it smells, yeah. like a, just a concoction of the, I mean mango is more of the dominant flavour in yeah. this one, um, grape and blackcurrant are sort of like, it goes mango straight into black, like grape and blackcurrant, and because of that it creates this, its own tropical environment, yeah. environment sorry, of like, um, Almost like a fruit punch, but then right at the end I'm left with grape. Yeah. 
if that makes sense. So it goes mango straight into the three of them together, which is this tropical punch, and then leaves me with grape at the end. And uh, yeah, I like I'd it. like to have seen that without the ice as well. I think that would have been quite nice, a proper fruity vape without Yeah, because the, the mango in that is really nice. Mm. Um, I mean, it's all nice, but the mango, I like the way it starts off, then goes into a tropical fruit punch mm. with the three of them in the middle, um, and then ends with grape. Yeah. Like, which grape does? Grape's a lingerer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you know? it can be, and it is on this one definitely. Sugar lip on this one, I'd say forty-five. Yeah, nowhere near. Nowhere near. No. What we've had on the first no. ones. <clears throat> right, last one, which I'm looking forward yeah, to. Yeah, I thought you might. <laughs> this one's called Sexy Lemon, and this is luscious lemon glazed delicately over creamy, smooth, and perfectly balanced vanilla bean ice cream. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Smells amazing in the bottle. <laughs> See you, sir. Oof, oof. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. Once again, I'd like to give a big shout out to Toby Murphy as well. Sorry. This has got, you know, everyone's favourite lemon tart. This has got that in there and it's bang on point. But then it ends with that creamy ice creaminess going on mm. and it really is like a not going lemon icy but more of a vanilla ice cream but a really creamy you know like when you you get vanilla ice cream that's like your standard shopping center one mm. then you get like if you spend a bit more and go and get like hagen dust you get like that that more cream and this is what this has got for me it's got like a it's like having a lemon tart slice a, a freshly cooked out the, out the oven and then a big dollop of extra creamy Vanilla ice cream, if that makes sense. We're back That's on them a, sugar lips as well with that the sugar one lips, and all. amazing. Mm. Maybe around the 55, I'd say. You know, mm. it's really got that punchiness to it. It but, is. Um, it's nice to get. I mean, I like my lemon vapes as well. Definitely. But you associate <clears> a lot of lemon vapes with a biscuit. Yep. Or a cracker. Or, yep. you know. It's mad. They used to be the strawberry man. I used to be the lemon man. Now we're bit of both yeah we both like lemon and strawberry mm. you know we've both grown to, to it's get... nice to get this lemon that's over ice cream no biscuit as such it's when really normally, nice you know, when it says it's got a biscuit and it lacks it's disappointing yeah, but where this has none and definitely. it's with an ice cream it's, it's amazing like, oh it, it's amazing mm. it really is lovely right well, i'm gonna ask you to pick one out of each what was the favorite. smell on this like <laughs> nice yeah you could smell it without it vapes yeah oh yeah wow really nice. you could smell that lemon tartiness going mm. straight on straight away well so, out of one. the rocket, Fox. One out of each. You oh. can't pick them all. Straffy. Yeah, same. Straffy. That's out of the first three that we did. Second three? Sexy lemon. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's mad. Because, like, so these are our two winners out of, the, out of what we've picked. Like, Straffy, which is obviously the strawberry one that we was doing. And then, obviously, this one, which was the sexy lemon and vanilla ice cream. But, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, like the first one, the jukebox yeah, was nice. The, exactly. The honeydew melon exactly. and cream. Yeah, exactly. But out of the last three, I mean, the, the two cool Lada ones were nice, but I would have liked to have seen them without cool yeah. Lada. But um, I do like the Sex Bomb Sexy Lemon, that's amazing, no cool Lada in that. Yeah. Um, the Straffy was lovely, the Dew Pop was lovely. I mean, even Utopia, that coffee. Yeah, the coffee was The first nice three, well. I think, were mm. really amazing. Um, but if I had to pick just one from each range, it would be Straffy and Sexy and the Lemon. And same, there you go, definitely. <laughs> right, don't forget, for more information, www.myvapestore.co.uk Don't forget to subscribe to us. Don't forget to tell all your friends about us. Add us up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, as well as YouTube. Um, this has been Sex Bomb, two, two companies under the same wing of the same company, if that makes sense. So, like, they're both Sex Bomb, but one's called Rocket Fog Company, one's called Sex Bomb, but they are the same company. Um, and obviously, under the wing of My Vape Store. Big, big love again goes out to Toby Murphy. And catch us back next time on Spitting the Dripper Reviews.